Welcome to your palette modding or pal mod tutorial for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle. First you will require a few things. Noesis, text editing and image editing software, .dds files. Step 1. Extract your ASB ROM. This involves running Crypact FileMaker on data.cpk from the ASB ROM. Extract Crypact to a new folder and copy your CPK to it. Drag and drop your CPK on Crypact FileMaker. On the top right, choose Extract Content and select a new empty folder. Step 2 requires the color file. After the files are extracted, browse the SPC folder and select the color file you would like to edit. Open the character col number.xbin with noesis and export to .dds. Choosing .obj will do this. Check the exported.dds with your hex editor. The header will show either dxt5 or dxt1. Take a note for later. Step 3. Now open the .dds with your image editor. Now change the colors exactly how you'd like. After you're finished editing, save the files as .dds matching dxt5 or dxt1 that you checked earlier. Make sure generate MIP map is selected, and MIP map filtering should be showing triangle. Save the file. Open the recently edited palette with a hex editor. Delete everything, including null bytes, in the header. Select all and copy. Open your character color.xf bin file with hex editor. Search for GIDX and paste replace where the bytes start below GIDX and save. Step 5. Open the command prompt as administrator and navigate to where your color file is. You will require Crypack tools and a data.cpk. Now type Crypack tools.exe, then a space, data.cpk, then a space, then the color files name twice.
After it finishes rebuilding the CPK, copy the CPK back to the emulator folder and play. This was your JoJo ASB PAL mod guide. Please like, subscribe, and thank you. あんたの能力無敵だが動きを読めるのは短い時間だけらしい。